Hi, I'm Nancy Smith with Sunburst Software Solutions and welcome to the QuickBooks for Contractors YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about setting up your QuickBooks item list to handle both taxable and non-taxable customers who have taxable as well as non-taxable sales. I'm often asked, how do I deal with taxable and non-taxable customers? Do I need to create two item lists in order to make this all work? The answer is really pretty simple. In QuickBooks, you want to go to your item list and you want to make sure that all of your items are set to taxable. Over here in the sales tax code, it will tell you if it's taxable or non-taxable. If you find that many of your items don't have sales tax or are indicated as non, a quick way to fix this is to go to lists, add edit multiple list entries, change it to your service items, and then you can go here to the sales tax code and anything that is marked as non, change it to tax. And then go ahead and save it. The next thing you want to do, or you can do, is each customer in the customer record, you can indicate a sales tax code. Now this is going to be very helpful if specific customers are taxable and other customers are not. However, if you end up with taxable and non-taxable invoices to a certain customer, you can just do that at the invoice or the estimate level, and I'll show you how. So here we have a job, and I just called it taxable job. I created my estimate, made sure that my sales tax codes were all set to tax, and set my tax rate to be the one that actually collects tax. And here you can see on this estimate I have $2,548.50 worth of sales tax. So now let's say this same customer presents me with another job and this one is non-taxable. So I'm just going to pop in here and I'm going to add a job and I'm going to call it non-taxable job. I'm going to save it. I'm going to create an estimate. And I'm just going to kind of cheat here a little bit. I'm going to use a group item. Now I can do one of two things. Here at the estimate level, I can change each item to be non-taxable, and I also want to change the tax code for this specific estimate to be the exempt or non-taxable sales tax item that has a zero percentage. Now you can see that I have no sales tax on this item. And I'm going to save this. Now when you go to save an a estimate for a customer that you set as being taxable, QuickBooks is going to pop up and give you this warning message. And it's going to say that you have changed the tax item and do you want this information to appear next time? You're just going to say no. So now I have both an, a taxable and a non-taxable estimate. So let's see what happens. First I'm going to pull up the non-taxable job 
I'm going to create a progress invoice for 50% of the job. And I'm going to save it. So here we went for, we had a $2,000 estimate. We billed 50%. We have an invoice for a total of $1,000. We're going to save it. Now we're going to go to our taxable job and we're going to pull up the estimate and we're going to create an invoice and we're going to bill 75% on one line item. And now you can see that we're, we're billing $6,000 with sales tax calculated at $360. So you're just going to hit save and close. Now you're probably going to wonder how all of this is going to affect your sales tax reports. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to, I have this set up as a cash um, based business. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to receive my payments. And I'm going to post date this just for because this is just a demonstration. And I'm also going to go and receive my payment on my non-taxable invoice. Now let's say it's the end of the quarter and I'm ready to um, pay my sales tax. I'm going to come in and I'm going to go and do my sales tax liability report. And I'm going to change my dates to this calendar quarter. And you can see QuickBooks breaks it out that I have $6,000 in taxable sales with sales tax collected of $360 and I have a non-taxable sale of $1,000 with 0%. Now I can take this information and I can plug it into my sales tax form and I can pay my sales tax. So there you have it. You can handle both taxable and non-taxable customers as well as taxable and non-taxable sales to the same customer all through one simple item list in QuickBooks. And I'd like to thank you for joining me today. This YouTube video has been presented by the QuickBooks for Contractors Online University. I'm Nancy Smith with Sunburst Software Solutions. I offer free and fee-based training through eBooks live webinars, pre-recorded webinars, and one-on-one -on -one training in one, two, and four-hour blocks of time. You can contact me at 888-348-2877. Visit my website, sunburstsoftwaresolutions.com, or visit my blog where you'll find daily QuickBooks tips and tricks at blog dot sunburst software solutions dot com. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for joining and have a great day.